Hello, what's happening everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing Wednesday. So happy to be here, show number 2068. Hope you guys are having a great one. Would you look at that? Hold on a second here. Hey, there it goes. Hope you're all having a nice one. We're kicking things off with the Federation A today. I think we have four Type A ships remaining in FTL uh, to complete. So excited to see where that goes. Let's hop right in the game and see where it takes us somewhere fun, I'm sure. And what a good, clean kitty man we got to start off our show. What's happening? Elusive Jupin, the Rumi. What's up, Cage Goblin, Sawiki, Cutest Bear, Resmundo. Hey there, Meep, hit a rog. Cheesy Bob, nice to see you, man. Ultimus Prime, Meep1337, Black Velvet. Hey there, Bantle. What's good, Tater Elusive? And many others here. What's up, Petrus? Mizuans, Nate D313, Zidane. Hey there, Des Alchemist. Well, feel free to throw out some name suggestions for this fine vessel, and we'll uh, hop on in. I'm going to grab some patron names here for our crew. Bunny Wild, Delbach, and then we'll go Phoenix, Captain Martin P, and go from there. This ship has a unique weapon, the Artillery Beam, which is this room right here on the ship. We may or may not use that on this run. If the run goes well, we won't, and if it doesn't, we probably will. While these name suggestions are rolling in, let's uh, get caught up with your wonderful support before the show. The Pizza Man, thanks for two wonderful years. Welcome to the Engine Life. Appreciate that 24 months. Elfminster, thanks for making it official with Twitch Prime. Appreciate you being here today. And Resmundo, thanks for 46 months. Just a few more for four years. Nice. Nameless Wonder TV, welcome to the Dapper as well. Appreciate that Prime support. Thank you. I kind of just like the wrench. I mean, that's pretty straightforward, right? Thank you all for your wonderful creative suggestions here. Let's uh, let's hop on in. Classic name for a classic ship. And this is generally one of the first uh, ships you're going to unlock playing FDL because you get it when you get to Sector 5. Uh, just No, wait, this is the Sector 8 ship. So your first run, you get to Sector 8, you unlock the Federation ship, I think. It's the NGs that are Sector 5. Um, we're going to swap the rock and the man is here. That's how I like to do it. Sky Baron, thanks for 35 bunts. Only one away from three years. Thank you. Okay, this does connect to the exit, as do these two, but it certainly looks like it's going to be easier to get to our exit from over here. So our only connecting jump, then, is this one. Whoa. Whoa. This is uh, pretty awkward, actually. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's still leaving two jumps aside. Interesting. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven and a half, eight. No, that's no good. One, two, three. Okay, here it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, six and a half, seven and a half, eight and a half, nine. The ten and a half is what we're getting. Oh, this connects back down to interesting. Maybe it's one, 
two, three, four, five, six. That's the same. This is an interesting sector layout. It's going to be what it's going to be. So um, it's more like the exit beacons right here, but that's okay. Still within normal parameters. Hey, congrats to Kowski. That's awesome, man. Explore the asteroid field. Hey, free stuff's nice. You know, I just realized you should go one, two, three, or one, two, three, four. Hmm. Well, if you're new to FTL, FTL is the roguelike game of space exploration. You have to work your way through eight different sectors of randomly generated space on your way to a giant flagship fight. This is one sector map, but it's a doozy here. Along our way, we collect scrap to upgrade our ship and uh, subsystems. It seems like we get an extra jump this way, but we don't. I don't think it matters too much which way we go. We're going to make up the difference by taking this jump after hitting the exit, I think. Okay, I'm going to jump here because uh, it gives us the best chance to find a store. Okay, if I had any drone parts to sell, I certainly would. Storage vessel for military goods. Here we go. So if we're, our burst laser hits their weapons here and disables that ion, we're mostly safe. Very nice. So this bar right here is exclusive to the Federation A, B, and C. On C, it's a flak, but here's the laser. This fires an all-shield-piercing laser beam that goes across the enemy ship. It's like a pike beam that pierces shields and targets randomly. I'm just going to let it go off here so you guys can see. Generally speaking, we neglect the artillery beam unless it's uh, very sketchy and we need to use that instead of a weapon. Nothing useful, that's fine. The good part about, um... Good part about this ship is if you don't find a good weapon system, you can go into the artillery beam and go ultra defensive. Okay, this ship actually is pretty, uh, pretty tough. The laser beam and their mini beam time out together quite nicely. At least on the first volley. Okay, that worked out really good. An excellent disable. Is there fire? No. Hey there, Corfinator. Good evening to you. What's up, Bika? Hey, Colsey1, thanks for that prime support. Appreciate you keeping it dapper, man. Thank you. Six missiles, two drone parts, eight scrap. Uh, it's good, but I need that scrap. I need it. Pretty comparable. Can I offer you, I'll try to shield your ship with mine, 3 fuel, 22 scrap for 1 hull damage, and some fires, which we should be able to get out with our 3 crew here. Nice.
So if your system becomes fully damaged, you do lose one hole there. Wouldn't have been the end of the world, but uh, saving holes good. Also, what's also nice is we have enough scrap to buy two shields now, and should probably just snap that up. As a generality in uh, FTL, your first 50 scrap going to two shields is almost never wrong. Attack the pirate. Missile launcher is never preferred, but it's okay. Okay, we didn't get it down. Bummer. Only a one damage missile, fortunately. Okay, at least we hit him that time. An enemy FTL charging, come on now. I think we should get him down in time with the uh, beam gonna go off here. Oh, jump imminent? Don't, though. That's okay. Oh, okay, the reward was still there from the other ship. That's helpful. Great, now we've had a, a ship fight every single event here. I'm gonna go ahead and just buy my two shields now because I know I know that's right. Most ships we won't need two shields are the ones we do. Oh boy. Okay, this is an awkward ship. So there's a rule when you're fighting inside an ion storm, and that's if the enemy ship is not firing a weapon that can hurt you like in this case they just have ions right we're just gonna hold off and only damage piloting here they're gonna be peppering us but uh it's just the way it goes actually no uh no risk here at all nice However, if I hit their shields or engines or cloaking, this missile launcher would pop up and then uh, we'd have a real problem. So instead of doing that, just gonna gonna take her easy I think we had to wait for one more cloak here here it comes not too bad If that missile launcher was online instead, that would have been a totally different uh, thing. Yeah, we're saving for a store now. Also going to drop this to power a shield in case the next jump we go into has a beam drone right off the bat. Okay. I think not powering the artillery here is the right choice for the extra dodge, but we'll see, huh? Mm -hmm. Oof. Okay. Good miss. This should wreck him pretty bad with her one shield. Okay, so we only have one fire start. Awesome. Gonna take a quick peek. Okay. 
I got two guys repairing the weapons. No fires on board either, that's weird. Never mind, they had fire in the engines. All right, well, hindsight here, I think uh, having the artillery beam power would have been slightly better. But if our weapons got hit by their lasers, that wouldn't be the case. Okay, just like that. At least our artillery beam's still online for now. Uh, I'm gonna guess they burn down before uh, this becomes critical. This event without two shields uh, very easily could have ended us. Okay, we're good. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, before repairing here, we are going to jump away because the solar flare is about to arrive. The dock is in. Thanks for 60 wonderful months. Appreciate that. Five years, man. Merry Summer Fragments to you as well. This is tough. They're trying to run away. Okay. This is fine. Now, I know they only have um, two crew over there now. Oh, don't do that. Okay, good. Enemy FTL delayed already. They must have a fire of some sort. I'm actually going to look. Okay, they do have a fire going on. New HP left 23. They're coming down to repair this? Okay, this gives our artillery beam more time. Somebody got roasted. Uh, level 2 piloting as well. Fortunate on that event. Cusack, the thanks for 10 wonderful months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper, partner. Uh, hi, Kiri. You have to decide whether you can upgrade the artillery beam on a run-to-run -run basis. Just like almost everything in FTL, there's no hard and set rule about what is best on every run. I find myself upgrading the artillery beam mostly if I have a run that is ends up being shy on weapons, and that kind of bridges the gap between a uh, weapon upgrade. Definitely uh, more powerful in the late game, too. So if you get it all the way leveled up with automated reloaders or other stuff, uh, it's very good versus the flagship. Alright, we can go one, two, three, four, or we can go one, two, three, four, five. Since this can be a store and the uh, nebulous can, I think I'm going to take that route. These two jumps equal one fleet pursuit. This is two, this is three, then we're back before we dive. One fuel for four missiles. Um, no. Missiles are nice and all, but... Unless we get the missile trade event, probably not. Attempt to follow and help him. Hey, dude. All right, we got Tao in the house. Oh, I didn't save my crew position, apparently. I'm gonna put the um, 
You know, rock on weapons is actually really nice. Much better than that Manti. Okay, did it again. Hold on. So Phoenix Captain. Okay, Tau goes here. Oh, man. Tau goes here. You go here, you go here, you go here. Let's attack the pirate. Just want to see what's going on in there. What do we got? Mantis Engineer. All right. Uh, Sacratory doors doors are almost always more useful to man than sensors. You can just peek with a character by running over like we did. Whereas if you get boarded by the start of the event, having higher level doors leaves you more options. I'm going to grab a smidge of training here. Not a lot, just a smidge. Hey, Kassira, what's good? Penny, you're so gross. These cats. Oh, I lost my cat, okay. Fair enough. Hey, good evening, Xer. What's good? Monday through Thursday are split streams, Casero. So we have this afternoon stream and then another stream at 8 p.m. Pacific, Monday through Thursday. Yeah, maybe I put the, uh, the Manus on shields here. Oh, we got halfway. That's the important part. Gonna fire at 02 now. Probably should have just done a double fire. We'll see, though. Hey, good evening, Dr. Butternubs. Do appreciate it. Okay, so it is only a level one. It's actually good we're getting some misses there. Some more opportunities to disable the O2. Good evening, Cleveland. direct the offer and continue our assault here. I think we might actually have their O2 fully drained here on this next repair. Yeah, there it is. Nice. Mm 
Not even, don't even need to fire again. Nice. Oh, let's destroy the ship and salvage it. Not exactly the option I wanted to see, but here we are. Send an away party to investigate. All right, quest marker added the next sector. Hunter's scrap in hand. Well, NG control, they're NG control. This bottom NG control looks a little bit tamer. Okay, we didn't see a store in our sector one, which is a rarity, but not uh, not out of the question. With 106 scrap, I'm gonna buy one power bar here. Really need to save enough to buy a weapon if we're gonna find one, because that's what the ship falls behind on most commonly. Yes, to summarize Fragments, it's a bi-annual 31-day uh, streaming event. We do one in the summer and then one again in the winter, December 1st through 31st. It's our third annual Fragments summer and fifth annual Fragments winter this year. Looking forward to it. Whoa, they are really peppering that uh, artillery there, sirs. Double fire in the weapons is perfect. And then, of course, after our Fragmas summer and winter, we take a short vacation centered around the AGDQ and SGDQ speedrunning marathons here on Twitch. Uh, host those during my time off as well. Just another layer of consistency here on the live stream. Captain Walmart, thanks for 26 months, man. Two years and climbing. Nice. Okay, we found our store, or a store. Do I want to take a few more jumps before this door? Probably. Uh, yeah, Punching Kirby, because that's the best time to take a vacation as a variety broadcaster here on Twitch. The AGDQ and SGDQ charity marathons pull a really major crowd, and rightfully so. It's an amazing and very fun event. But if there is ever a time to take time off the stream and take a regular vacation, I think it's that. I'm honestly surprised a lot more people don't uh, take vacation during those times, though. It seems to me in this industry, most people wait to take a vacation until it's an absolute uh, disaster. Been there. You have to keep at it, Dr. Butternums. You uh, are going to need to learn how to manipulate your crew um, manipulate your crew positioning. But boarding has a lot less leeway than regular runs, which is why it's difficult. Just keep at it. Here, I'll demonstrate the crew, crew moving in the rooms right now for you, Dr. Butternums. So hopefully this will help out your boarding runs. Before we talk about uh, manipulating crew inside the room, let's talk about how consoles work. On your ship, you can see the console in this room is right here, the console in the shield room is right here, uh, console in the engine room is right here. On your own ship, your crew will always deviate first to the console room and then follow the normal rules of room um, fulfillment, which is on a four square room, top left, Top right, bottom left, bottom right. You can see there's a grid on the room, so it goes top left or top, top to bottom, left to right. In a two square horizontal room, it goes left to right. In a two square vertical room, it goes up and down. 
So on your own ship, you have to pay attention to where the consoles is, and if you're boarding an enemy ship, keep in mind the enemy will also deviate to their console, but your crew will ignore it. So I'm going to use the shield room here first, because the shield room has the console and will be considered the normal spot for a crew to enter. So to move our crew around inside this room, we're going to select our crew, pause the game, send them out of the room. We're going to send them back in in the order that we want them. So we're going to put the human in the top left, Manus in the top right, NG in the bottom left, Rock in the bottom right. We have them in a two square vertical room. We select them, send them out of the room, Manus on top, human on bottom two square side room goes left to right just like the the big room so manus and then human this room however the console is on the top right hand side so if our crew is all in here and we want to swap their positions we have to do it a little bit differently you select pause send them out we're going to put the human here nope did it wrong going to put the manus here and then the human in the left there you go that's really the secret to boarding, because you can manage you can manage your crew's HP with who they're fighting, or swap your crew if one's low and one's high. Getting that into effective strategy when you're actually boarding is just gonna take a lot of practice, but that's the that's the gist of it. Hope that helps you out. Okay, I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, or maybe even 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, something like that. Get a few more jumps before this store. Oh boy, pulsars. At least it's not the most terrifying pulsar I've ever seen. Certainly, this weapon will hit us when the pulsar goes off. We're not careful. We might be able to disable that in time. Please hit. Okay, good. Their ion being online is A-OK -okay by me. I would say you're weakest to pulsars when you're at two shields, because uh, with two shields, your stuff's guaranteed to go down. Nice, their weapons went down here too, so we got a free, free shot. Um, pulsars always do at least four ion damage, so two shields are completely stripped by the pulsar. two more jumps before this store. 120 scraps should be plenty. We are going to wait until we're completely free of ion damage to jump away here. And we're free. Uh, no, sorry guys. It's a lot of fuel. One, two, three, four, five, um, I think that does barely make our quest here if I take this jump, too. I kind of like to have more wiggle room down here. Maybe? Maybe not. Yeah, no, we're gonna take this jump, then this door. Yeah, what a steal for the enemy ship on that offer. Okay, that's down good. The artillery beam will be very effective on this ship because it has so many rooms that are spread out so much. Fired a little early on that one. 
They may fire their Lado here because of that. Okay, double fire. That's good. Didn't hit the artillery. That's nice, too. Gonna go ahead and blast shields here because they will run to shields to repair. I'll slow them down. Well, Burst Laser 1 certainly is a weapon that fires lasers. That brings up to five lasers from th three, so that's what we're going to do. That's right, Krajibul. Each um, upgrade in the artillery beam lessens the time. It goes 50, 40, 30, and then 20 seconds. If you manage to get three automated reloaders and a fully powered artillery beam, it fires an all-shield piercing laser every 12 seconds. Just want to take a look real quick, make sure we're not having another store here. Um, okay, I'm gonna do it. Let's just go for it. Then we'll purchase four repairs. And there you go. We have we now have five lasers to fire on our first volley. That's good. Just getting that first weapon is a major threshold on this ship. I usually start upgrading the artillery beam around um, the sector 5 to 6. Okay, I mean, I'd love to hit the store. It's just not in the books, and we already bought what we needed, so we're just going to move along and take scrap jumps rather than go to a store where we can't buy anything. Stiff dough and scrap. Thanks, Zoltanes. Hard to say, Wonko. It's just right. Okay. They gave us five drone parts. That's nice. That quest marker in the next sector, they're either going to give us a bunch of scrap when we withhold the uh, the parts from them, or we're just going to just keep the drone parts. Whoa, we got an allied ASB here in the NG sector. It's a rare event. You arrive in the sector to see a small Federation outpost using their anti-ship battery to fire an automated drone. Debris from other ships is strewn around the area. It looks like the burnt battle, the brunt of the battle is already over. You move in to assist. Mm -hmm. I think we get a crew member after this. Remembering right. Ooh, ion bomb into the sensors, you sly dog. Okay, it said missed by our ship, but this anti ship battery is not firing at us, it's firing at them. what I thought. You contact the station once the rebel ship is destroyed, the lone survivor respawns. This base is no longer safe. Let me join your crew and I'll have the station's drones patch up your ship. Seven hull points repaired, high scrap reward, and a crew. Now that's a quest reward. Ghost Sun Prime. Dock with the refueling. Wait for them to finish. Oh. Why'd they do me like that? Just a little feller. Whoa. 
the tickle squad. The real and verified twickle tickle squad on my ship. NGs only do half uh, crew damage for boarding, so we call any group of NG the Tickle Squad, because that's what they do. Tickle you to death. Alright, let's put Ghost Sun on sensors here. Actually, how trained are we on uh, shields? Not very. We're going to drop him on shields here and move the NG over to sensors so he has a roaming repair ability. Roaming repair NGs are fantastic. Most crew that you get um, this early in the game are not going to have any crew training attached to their character. That's not always the case, but it often is. Mr. Lello, little hands to you. Welcome to the Dapper. Thanks so much for that sub support. Very grateful. Okay, that's down. That's all we really care about. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this now for the artillery. I'm gonna wait till they um, repair once here and then we'll split our shot. Now they only have two crew on their ship, so if I can damage two systems, it guaranteed pulls off the crew from piloting. There we go. Easy peasy. Oh, and just a few minutes ago here, gift of life. Thanks for 26 months, two years, and climbing, partner. Rocket. Let's steal the civvy supplies. Oh, it's just vaccinations. That's tough. Hey, that could have been scrap, or it could have exploded us, too. Hmm. I don't think we go pyro control. I think we go engine control instead. More stores, and we already have six crew coming out of Sector 2, so I would say uh, our desire to fight a bunch of pirates is not as high right now. Okay, yes, I'd like this store, but I'd like to hit my quest more, I think. There's going to be three stores in this Sector 2, and we just don't have a... We don't have the cleanest line for upgrades. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get three engines powered right now. We got five lasers, three engines, and level one artillery beam. That should be gravy. Now we can save for stuff. Okay, we're gonna have the NG crew negotiate with the NG ship here to try to prevent their virus from escaping. We're gonna lose Martin P, but we'll get him back at the end of this fight with a vengeance. Ooh, don't hack my shields. Don't do that. Also this event, holy crap. Two shields, defense two in this weapon system? Dang. Ooh, I think this hack might actually uh, time out with the pike beam here. Yeah. Let's keep at it. They don't have medbay clone bay, so that's good. Yeah, this ship without the burst laser one, we'd have to rely on the artillery beam exclusively to damage, and that is a very dangerous situation with their ion charger pike shield hack. Very dangerous. Oh, 
Also, lucky for us, only level one hack here. Nice. It really is terrible, and this ship has a good thing going on. Hey, it's Virus. We're going to name you back to Martin P., okay? There, Virus. Oh, you can see that this guy's fully trained on everything, so a little bit tempting to move him onto a system. Let's put him on shields here. That seems fair. Honestly, swapping for weapons right now is pretty good, too. Let's just do that. We'll put the rock right here. Fully trained weapons means 20% faster firing, and on average, we'll be able to fire our weapons before the enemy ship's volley. Uh, so that's good. As it turns out 20% is quite a boost. Well, I was going to accept your surrender here, Ingies. Thanks. One, two, three. What was this quest? Uh, dock and investigate. Okay, okay. You dock with the station see a frantic person banging on the airlock door. Once inside your ship, he drops to the floor saying, My friends, they've gone insane. They're coming! You hand him a blaster and turn to see a number of people charging towards the ship. Well... Okay, they're breaking in here, good. Unintruded Manus is gonna definitely win us this fight. Oh yeah. Just chipping away. All right, this uh, engineer is beep. Yeah, the mod Fleet Pursuit with Numbers is the latest FTL mod we installed. Only got about uh, 50 or so hours of play with it. It's been pretty nice. I like it for streaming a lot because I think it presents the information in a cleaner way. And what is streaming if not presenting information for other people? Warlord420, thanks for 32 months. Only four more for that Hall of Fame, man. Thank you. Okay, I'll hit distress here. We got a rock and a NG, so. Hell, even giant alien spiders here we could take. I'm gonna do it. Okay, so we just lost Beep, our latest acquisition, but, uh, you know, he came from one cursed station and went right into another one. Give that man some points for bravery. That's right, he died as he lived on a cursed space station. Out of all the crew we could have lost there, that was the best because he has no training. Hold on a second now. What's going on here? Whoa. I was going to finish this off. They have a med bay, so I'm getting the crew kill there. There's only 3 HP left. Very unlikely. Francie R1200, thanks for three wonderful months. Much appreciation. Uh, Priest 55 to 14 out of 31 in the title. We are 14 out of 31 days uh, of streaming here for our third annual Fragmas Summer. As a reminder, today's stream is a split stream, as will be the... Uh, tomorrow's stream, Monday through Thursday, we have an afternoon stream and an evening stream. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we have single streams. OK, 
Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So we can get five in. I don't believe that. I I want to think this is over the marker, but I'm not sure. So I think we're going one, two, three, four, five. Looks correct. Correct ish. But twice a year, we do 31, uh, 31 days of streams in a row um, as part of our tradition. And uh, then we take a short vacation afterwards. Intruder on deck. I'm going to offer her for the bounty. Okay. In a lot of ways, the uh, the fragments we do each year are uh, kind of to commemorate the two-year livestream challenge, which we did from January 5th, 2012 to January 6th, 2014. Okay, he did. Uh, Smuggaloof, we only do Boshi runs on the Winter Fragments. Gotta keep it special. Ooh, double fire in the O2 room. Oh boy, that's what we want. So fires consume oxygen, and that oxygen gets pulled out of the, uh, you know, pulled out of the room. So even if they are, they do manage to put out the fires, which could happen. There's now much less O2 in the O2 room. Yeah, just like that. Shooting O2 here because manas take twice as long to repair, so if we get a fire or a situation like that, we can easily get an oxygen deprivation kill and possibly get an additional reward. Now once the O2 goes, or once their crew dies, we just fire at the uh, clone bay and then we've crew killed the ship. That's correct, Mime. Fires uh, do not is spread or usually spread in FTL uh, when the O2 is gone. You can start a fire in a room with no O2, but it will uh, almost immediately dissipate. There are some fringe cases where if you start a fire in the O2 room, the fire can spread to the adjacent blocks. That's just how fires work in this game. But that doesn't normally happen. Zivers, welcome to the Dapper. Thank you so much for subbing with Twitch Prime. Grateful for that support. Thank you. More so than giving more for killing the crew, it, go it gives uh, additional options for rewards. So on top of the normal reward that you can get, you can get an extra crew, drone part, weapon, or a high fuel and scrap reward. Ooh, I mean, Chain Laser isn't bad. It does continue what we're doing. I would love to buy Cloaking right now. Zombocom, thanks for keeping it damper. Appreciate you making it official once again. And SC Waffle, thanks for that prime sub too. Real bonanza tonight. It's grateful to be here, enjoying this wonderful game for you fine people. How did he get there? What? Okay, so I think options here are chain laser, and honestly, drone control isn't bad. We have um, we have a good amount of drone parts. Drone control is least effective on the Federation ship due to its uh, 
its size. Shorter or smaller ships are more effective on defense drone. I think this might actually be good, though. We're definitely set up for Sector 4 right now, so... I'd really just prefer to buy hacking and cloaking. Chain laser uh, might just be the right choice. It at least gives us a weapon upgrade that we can work towards. It's not the best laser weapon in the world, but it's something. So I think on the store, we're either going to buy chain laser or drone control. I'm thinking the chain laser might actually be better. Yeah, buying drone control here would really... It'd be a better option if we didn't already have the burst laser one. Because then we'd be looking at to go more of an artillery beam centric build. I'm going to buy the chain laser here. I prefer not to be spending scrap on that, which I can't power right now, but... I think it makes sense. We're not going to save for a weapon in another store because we're not guaranteed to ever see another weapon in a store this run. I've had multiple full runs of FTL where didn't see any weapons at all. So if you don't purchase the weapon that's in front of you, uh, you're not guaranteed to have one in front of you later. Please dodge one. Okay, or not. Yeah, fully fully trained NG on repairs there. Very helpful. All right, two damage from this volley. Not two shabs. This is all in all a pretty aggressive ship. At least for a two-shielder. Ruby Soda, thanks so much for making it official with Twitch Prime. Welcome to the Dapper. Seventeen and twelve, nice. Let's get Martin P healed up here. Decon 26. Thanks for an awesome six months. So I had half year of support. Uh, scrap the debris. I don't want to. I don't want to lose somebody. Twenty-two scraps, also nice. Good reward for that. Slug Home Nebula. Well, it is Sector Four, so Slug Home Nebula is not necessarily bad. Do we want to pick up level two o two in this situation to counter the o two hacks? Maybe. I think it's a little early for level two o two, and Sector Four is not. Not that bad. We can defeat a ship before our O2 runs out. Demand the rock ship pay the agreed upon price. Whoa. Okay. We got the low roll on that one. That often results in a cheap engine or a fight and then a cheap engine. But it turns out the rocks did do a shoddy job of upgrading the engine of the rocks. So. They got me. I think that's only like a 20% chance. Maybe less. 
Okay, tapped calm up here, sure. Trying to unlock as many jump beacons as possible. Okay, the mighty Manus. Come on in. What? Why would you go over there, you sly dog? If we disable one of these two, we are safe. I just saw that shift. Does that mean there's fire in there? Sure feels like it. I'm going to hold off a minute here because I think there might be uh, a lot of fires. Nope. But boom boom. Jacquard, welcome to the damper. Thanks so much for making it official with Twitch Prime. What's good, my man? What's good? Do do artillery beam finisher. Thirty scraps, nice. Okay, multiple stores also seems nice. Can we get both? I think hacking's kind of the dream right now. One, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it seems pretty reasonable. I think I'm going to head up here and then go over and then come back down this way to the exit to the quest. We'll grab these three, though, for sure. Three shields. Well, if we disable one of these two weapons, we're safe, so we're going to hope that we get a good roll on this. Uh-oh. Fine. Okay, good. That'll be fine for now. If you see what I did there, uh, I actually purposely dropped my shields to let the ions pass so that we didn't lose shield bubbles on this. That was sketchy and dangerous. Okay, there must be fires in the shield because they left that room. Pretty rare to be getting a uh, three shield ship in sector four, especially with the five power weapon system. Be happy to be leaving with my life. Uh, Catterly, just like everything else in FTL, it's very situational. Almost bought Drone Control on this run. I think Drone Control is still a very powerful system. To be honest, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. 
hacking is arguably better, but sometimes not. Being able to block uh, specifically hacking parts is very good. Okay, well, if we can keep this down now, we can suffocate him. Yeah, Moko, if you, they hit the shield there uh, with the ion after we drop the shields, then our shield stays down the same as if it hit the outside bubble. Hey, the captain. Thanks for 20 awesome months. My honor and pleasure. Thanks so much for being a part of it. Yeah, no surrender, guys, because the thing is, you know, I'm peppering you. I think if we get one more good volley in on this, then the O2 will run out before they repair. You notice on this ship, there's no doors to the engines or O2. The classic slug design. That's getting back in time. Doesn't matter because they're suffocated. No problem, Troxier. The uh, honestly, like the uh, dropping your shields for the ions. I'm pretty intermittent on whether I do that properly or not. It's something to think about, though. You know, it's definitely one way you can avoid damage. Okay, this ship is terrifying. Or our O2's cut as well, all right. Really need to get these two down so that the uh, the halberd does not absolutely wreck us. That'll do it. Oh, right, no med bay. Okay, well, uh, even then. Gonna go for shields now to split up the repairs. Put on bum bum. Well, we're hitting these stores with enough scrap to buy hacking or cloaking, or maybe both, depending on what happens. Feels good. Hacking, getting the chain laser online would be nice. Okay, a uh, backup battery is probably worth buying. I'm going to buy this in case our next store also has systems. There'll be one less thing that can be sold there. One, two, three, four, five, exit quest. Uh, 
Um, I think I take two jumps here before the store. Go one, two, three, four. I guess we can make up ground in here, too. I still think it's one, two, three. It's hard to say because there's 70% flea pursuit here instead of 100%. Yeah, it's definitely been suggested, so I'm kind of a uh, wait and see on that one. I know a lot of people are very much enjoying uh, enjoying the game, and that's good, but I think for streaming, it's probably going to end up being more of a flavor of the week type deal. Nothing wrong with that either. Yeah, we'll take two more here. Okay, that's a lot of ions they got there. I'm still going to attack, though. Okay, that's the, that's the better ion to go down, for sure. We got our third weapon from a store, Petrus. We bought it before being able to power it because you're not guaranteed to see more weapons in FTL. Wasn't the weapon I wanted, but it was the weapon I needed to progress or have the opportunity to progress. Now, worst case scenario in this sector, what we end up doing is bringing the chain laser online. That's the worst. Uh, no. It's my rule, especially for hard mode, if you see a weapon that you need to progress, you almost need to buy it on the spot, even if you can't power it. Because there's no guarantees. Maybe the last laser weapon we see for the rest of the run. We did have one very infamous stealth B run, which starts with the glade beam, uh, and we got hacking, but we didn't see a single weapon in any store for all eight sectors, no uh, weapon drops off of events or anything. That run right there really changed my thinking about when and where to buy weapons. Okay, there's hacking, good. Ooh, reloader too. Reloader's not shabby. Okay, we got 26 drone parts, so I don't think... Um, I don't think we're going to turn down hacking. Would I like cloaking? Sure would, but we have other stuff that is more important to buy currently, like three shields and, you know, power for our stuff. Two hack might be good, too. can also just power the weapons right now to get up to seven lasers. Oh, no, we're not quite there yet. It's 125. Hmm. Okay, let's go to the store here. Let's buy up to 14 fuel. Let's repair up to 22. I'm going to go two hacking and a power. Uh, this allows us to strip a three shield ship of their shields to fire five full lasers. And now our next purchase will very easily be three shields, then this chain laser online. Hell, maybe even the chain laser online makes sense. We'll find out soon. Yes, have the rock poses the captain. They were trying to poison us. Okay, so like on this ship right here, we're going to hack engines so that we can guarantee some damage on weapons. Hacking engines or piloting uh, ensures that all of your projectiles hit 100% hit chance as long as they don't collide with something, and that makes us safe-ish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not good. 
Okay, that guy hit good. Well, let's go back in here then. We will not accept surrender. Boom! 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 What are you looking at me like that for, Jim? The bed's open. Jim's giving me the stink eye. A, a slug ship, a rogue you suspect, approaches when you see he sees your federation, he thinks better of the sneak attack and fires everything he has. Indeed. Um, I'm a little worried if we uh, hack engines and go into weapons, we're going to just disable the heavy laser. Uh, Jacquard, inside of the slug home nebula specifically, or slug nebulas, yes, we almost always choose the we will not accept surrender, because they offer some very awful rewards for that, like just a couple fuel or no scrap at all. Slugs are infamous for bad, uh, bad rewards. Okay. Well, on a good note that, uh... Missile Launcher is an Artemis. Normally, you want it to be a Lado. This is easier to keep down. Uh, Darkmos, End of the Breach is an extremely well-made and in-depth game, but it's nothing like FTL. Starting your comparison there will only leave you frustrated. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go, go for broke here. We're gonna dive. I'm gonna suffocate, are we really though? Yeah, okay, let's uh, counter hack here. Firebombs generally aren't that dangerous, we just weren't ready for that one. Also, this ship can't damage us, so we're just in a waiting game here. Hey, we hit once. Oh, it did damage? Darn.
Thoughtful silence. Thanks for 32 months. Just a few more for that Hall of Fame. Much appreciation, my man. And Spellsiger, thanks for a huge 52 months. Absolutely rocking. Darn. Well, they got two damage in on us. That's fair. Could be a lot worse. This weapon setup for what it is is pretty tame. Ah, darn. The fire spread. Nice. Well, if we go to this quest, we're going to be diving. It is inside a nebula, so the dive is less dangerous, but I'm, I'm looking at this right now. I don't know if we can uh, effectively dive without bringing the seventh laser online. I guess we'll find out. Definitely taking the quest, though. I mean, come on now. Uh, we're gonna engage. No, hold on. We're gonna head for the cache here. Oh, boy. This is kind of the ship I was worried about. So, what we're gonna do here is hack shields and go for a full slam on weapons. A little early on that. Not weapons, thanks. <laughs> Everything but the missile launcher, all right. Ooh, got that down just in time. Should have started that hack a smidge earlier. It's gonna let this fire here. It's fine. Artillery beam should finish him off. Yep. Okay. Well, this is gonna be a very dangerous dive. Um, I think I'm going to bring the chain laser online right now. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. There's not going to be an ASB in this fight, but disabling their weapons seems pretty important, as we can see on that fight. Um, five lasers not really cutting it. The great Pepperoni, what a name, what a player. Thanks for subbing with Twitch Prime Partner. Much appreciation. All right, here we go. No anti-ship battery. This is going to be a harder than average ship though, guaranteed. Not bad. Not bad at all. Just need to disable one of these two to be somewhat safe. Uh-oh. Nice. Both is even better. Hmm. 
Ooh, double shield fire. Well, this dive couldn't have gone any better. I think very clearly the seventh laser was the right purchase, at least for this fight. NG Homeworlds, I'm in. Give me, give me some stores where I can just repair here. Uh, we are behind on getting our third shield bubble online. That's relatively okay, though. There is no ASB on that event in Game 90 because it was a Nebula designated event, which will never have an ASB firing. So if your exit's on a Nebula, it's a lot safer to go behind enemy lines. Though the ship we could have faced there could have easily killed us, depending on their weapon composition. But they had two relatively slow three power weapons rather than a slew of fast weapons. All right, everybody, before we head into this Sector 5 here, about an hour and 40 minutes into our afternoon broadcast here on this fine Wednesday, just going to stand up, stretch my legs, use the restroom real quick. Uh, just be back in a short moment. No ads or anything like that for this break. Encourage you guys to do the same. See you in just a minute to continue the fun. See if we can pull off a victory here on the Federation A. We're a little bit behind on defense, but everything else is pretty well rounded out. So if this sector goes well, I think we're going to be uh, looking pretty good. But as always in FTL, no matter how good you feel, you're always only one ship fight away from getting dunked. Be right back. Alrighty, we have returned. Thanks to your patience during that short intermission. Do very much appreciate it. Here we are, Sector 5. We got seven lasers hacking and a little bit behind on our defense. But I think this is our sector. 
We also have an engineer and rocks for all the distress beacons here, so we're gonna make the most out of it. The NG Homeworld sector should also have three stores in it, giving us a lot of opportunities. 50 scrap off the bat. Dang, that's nice. Oh, do I want to delay this store? Probably. Let's take a few more jumps here. A few more jumps here could easily kill us, but I don't think it will. Holy crap, a weapon just floating in space. Ain't that nice. Ion Bomb also sells for quite a bit in the vanilla pricing here, so that's helpful. So one, two, maybe even three, four, five. I don't know. Twelve hole is whew, scary. That's what it is. Glaive Beam, huh? Oh, boy. Well, on a good note, we're gonna fire before their glaive beam, so we gotta figure out what our best potential takedown on this one is. I think we're just gonna go straight up for the piloting hack here. Um, yeah. Do this, that's fine. Didn't fire all three, that's good. <laughs> Double fire and the weapon's perfect. Okay, we'll repair that, vent this. Who's my controlled engine guy again? All right. Okay, I was gonna wait for this hack here so we can slam their shields all the way and then we'll go back into weapons here. Five fuel, five missiles, 19 scrap. That's not bad. We did just get 50 scrap as a reward, so I'm kind of tempted not to, though we're going to have to buy fuel at the next event no matter what. You know, we can get more scrap than that. Will it be 15 more scrap? Ooh, maybe not. not take the deal here. I don't know if that'll work out or not. I think it's about a coin flip if that's better or worse. Okay. Seeing that, the fuel was a slightly better deal, but we have this store coming up, and if that was a high scrap reward, it certainly would have been better to do it the way we just did. Yeah, sure, man. Sure, I'll do that. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, I'm going to take this door probably by repairing fuel and then take a few more jumps before we get in here. Oh, okay. Wax certainly does solve some problems for us. Okay, Ion Bomb is not going to function here. I actually think we should sell the Chain Laser just to replace with the Flak right now. That gives us eight laser beams with hacking. Also makes our first volley timing very good and leaves a scrap left over. All 
right? Other option is just to buy the flak right now. I suppose we're not in a huge rush to sell the chain laser. We can do that at the next store if it makes sense then. But boy, howdy, do I want uh, three shields right now. Okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, purchase the flak. We know that's going to be right. Going to uh, buy repairs now. I'm going to repair up to 22. I'm going to go up to 14 fuel as well. And while that is most of our scrap, we did improve our projectiles. And we have a second store coming up. We go 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah. Just getting to 150 scrap here and buying three shields would pretty much sort us out. And if we need to, we'll sell our chain laser at the next store. Again? Again? Uh, no nonsense. We currently have hacking, which uses drone parts, but I doubt we'll get a missile launcher uh, this run. Hopefully get a couple missile cell events. That'd be nice. Uh, no. Uh, no, I'm not. I don't want more missiles. Thank you. Darn, this store might not even come to fruition. Secure it. Ooh, that's good. Oh, long-range scanners. Never too late for that. Okay, we're selling combat two. Something the chain ladies, so it's gonna be a freaking eternity before we can get it online. Let's go one, two, three dive potentially. Let's see, see what this does. Be a hero and attack the pyre, you can do it. Okay, they do have cloaking, um, and a flak too, so depending on their level of cloaking, this could get awkward for us. Only level one, nice. Okay, great. That means we can hack piloting and guarantee take down their weapon, their big weapon, making this event rather safe. Level three hacking there, I believe, would have put us to a point where we couldn't fix that couldn't avoid the first volley. Oops. Welcome aboard.
Well, it is a pretty generous bribe. I'm gonna say no, though, because this is a double reward chance. Double reward chance means that doesn't make as much sense. Eight whole points repaired? Okay, that's better than nothing. I really want this scrap, but uh, diving's also dangerous with three engines. Maybe I'm better off uh, not diving here. Also, the X is a guaranteed good or neutral event. Uh, Luma Yoshi, always hard mode on this stream. So we can take guaranteed fight into empty event, then dive, or we can just take the exit right now, which is guaranteed good or neutral. Um, I'm just going to take the exit here. I don't, I'm not feeling confident in our ability to dive without three shields and any engines. Scrap the debris, man. Let's check the next sector, Civi Sector. <laughs> if that's wrong, I don't want to be right right now. Sorry for missing you a few minutes ago, Utasa. Thanks for three wonderful months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Thanks kindly for that support. Whoa, dude, really? Four frick shields. We do have eight projectiles here, so that's okay. Um... So we can do four damage to their weapons that will disable the missile launcher. That's where we're at. Okay, so this is going to be an Artemis, or it would have popped up already. That much I'm sure of. Wait here. And hack. That'll do it. Enemy FTL delayed. I'd hope so. Four fuel, eight missiles, 20... Okay, I'm not going to do it, man. You can't make me. Yeah, that's much better. Thank you. That defense drone sells for 25, so it's going to be good for us. Probably going to swing back here to head back this way. One, two, three, four, five, like six, and then over here. Definitely want at least some scrap hitting that stork. So we could buy cloaking right now. While we would still be behind on defense, it would help us out a lot. Oh, I'm going to fight this ship. Scouting is good too, but here we are. We only got to disable one of the two things. I'm still going to send out a hacking park because we have 26, so why not? 
Though if we were low on hacking parts, this would be a very clear candidate not to use a hacking part. Okay, this one's acceptable. Probably slightly low on scrap, but the five fuel, we're gonna need to buy that fuel anyways. They delay the rebels by one jump, Sparrow, for the charge there. So, uh, minimal use on that. The scout this sector is almost always better. Almost. Might even go over here. One, two, three, four. Well, let's go here first and see. Hitting this store with any amount of scrap is going to be good. Mercenary work. Okay. Some of our friends have taken to piracy in the recent chaos of the war. We'd like you to convince them of their poor decision by severely damaging their ship. We'll pay you well as long as you don't kill them all. I agree. This event is a guaranteed weapon. How nice. Also, we have a guaranteed slam jam on their, uh, their system here. That'll do. Double fire. Okay, there's no way the Manus can finish that repair. He wishes. Still on fire, nice. So once they reach a certain damage threshold here, they're gonna give up and we're gonna let them return to the settlement and the people that hired us to dissuade them give us a weapon. Worst case scenario, it's a junk tier weapon that we get to sell at this upcoming store. Let them live and return to the settlement, done. Okay, Ion Stunner's not great, but high scrap reward and being able to sell that Ion Stunner Certainly has to be somewhat beneficial. One, two, three. No, we got three, so one, two, no. I think we do need to take this sun jump, even though I'd prefer not to right now. Because if we don't take that, one, we're missing the scrap on the sun jump, and two, our pathing just doesn't work as good. Oh, boy. Frankly, the Ion Stunner is not a terrible weapon to pull into this thing, either. Ion Stunner stuns the person in the shield room when it hits the shield bubble. The Distress Beacon is the beacon that we're getting on the way out here, Dr. Butternubs. So our pathing currently looks like we're heading over here and then one, two, three to the exit. So if we take this Distress Beacon now, we only leave ourselves two jumps from this one, which is not enough to bridge the gap on the exit. So if we're taking the Distress Beacon now, my read is we lose out on one jump this sector. Though, if we weren't using the Fleet Pursuit with numbers, I probably would take that. Okay, I'm gonna get one more power bar here. No, let's hold off. We're almost to the store. Now, with the guaranteed scrap reward, I'm gonna do it. At least we have everything somewhat powered. It's going good, Bob Griffin. Hope you're having a great one, too, man. All right, this ship cannot damage us. Wow. With some fires, it might be able to, but we're gonna sneak our hacking part into piloting here. We're gonna use the hacking toggle technique for the first time this run. Gonna wait till this anti-drone fire is gonna depower our hacking, repower it. Okay, they hacked O2. It's probably gonna be at least level two hack. 
So we're gonna need to hit hacking here. Yeah. If they get two hacks in here, we're gonna be in trouble. So we're gonna go here and here. Nice. Extra spicy. I think there's probably a chance of a crew kill here, but I'm also in the the sun. You know, we're at 14 fuel right now. I'm not going to accept surrender. With long-range scanners, we have a much higher uh, density of ship fights in any given sector, so uh, tough to justify that one. Yes, Rokius, we are not playing with the balance mod on this save. Nothing against the balance mod, I really enjoy it. Just been using it for the past 400 hours of play or so, so, uh, sw switching it up. Dude, free stuff bonanza! Okay, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. Definitely want to take one more jump before this door, because we can. Okay, it'll be a hero and attack the pirate. This, their weapon system is no joke. You know what I'm actually going to do here is we're going to hack, um, we're going to hack weapons. Yeah. Well, hold on here. One, two, three, four. Five. If I hack piloting, we do get a full disable of their weapons. So I take back what I just said. Combat two as well. Wow, this ship's a monster. Actually, we're not even guaranteed the full disable here. Okay, well... Okay, that's not good. Unchecked combat 2 is a very bad time. Yeah, that needed to stop. I don't care about the missile launcher, I can repair that. I can't I can't repair a catastrophic failure. Only a Lado. Okay, good. Combat 2 is back online, which isn't great, but our next volley is going to cinch it. <laughs> they just keep trying, man. No, I'm not doing it. Wow. 11 hull points repaired. It's like they knew. Well, that was nice of them. Hey there, Samurai7. What's good, partner? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Alright, anti-personnel is out. I'd say this defense drone is out, too. I'm not too stoked about buying a system that is not uh, cloaking in this situation. Mind control is nice, though. I think our scrap right now is best spent on just upgrading the ship like engines and uh, level 3 hacking. Cloaking is certainly not a requirement, but it does help our win percentage quite a bit if we can find it.
One of the only disadvantages of this ship is it starts at the artillery beam, which is very powerful, but it does take up one of your systems, your system slots. Okay, um, buy two fuel here. You know, I'm kind of tempted to buy the uh, the whole laser too, but I don't know, man. Let's do what we know is right. Right now, I would like to buy... It looks really good right here it is actually an engine and then backup battery boost. I think we might actually use the ion stunner. I don't think we're going to sell it here. It only sells for 17. Okay, now we can have five engines. Great. Um, I'm going to go ahead and buy hacking three and one more power bar here too. Okay, well, with three hacking, that does make a lot of things safer. So we run into a really nasty weapon system. We can just hack it and then drain it completely. We also have enough of the backup battery to go into that. And I'm going to save uh, save my scrap here for hopefully cloaking in the next sector. Oh my god, that's like our fifth fuel for missile offer this run. Calm down. Hail them. Whoa there. As you hail the refugee ship, a Zoldan ship suddenly jumps into the system. It claims the refugees are criminals and accuses you of escorting fugitives. But before you can respond, it cuts communication and powers its weapons. Classic Zoltans. Also, this ship is very uh, classically unable to damage us. Neat. As you can see, they got some jukes. Okay, well that does put a damper on us doing damage. You know what I just saw? If our um, if our shields get ioned, we're in big trouble. I am going to go ahead and hope for the best here. We're gonna hack piloting. This means we do need to slam our, their weapons. If our shields get hit here, I'll just jump. Sometimes discretion is the much better part of Valor in space. Okay, artillery, fine. Weapons hack was also reasonable. But I think this worked out a little better. Oh, let's attack the Schleverschgum. Three ions and a missile launcher. What does that even mean? I think that means we're going uh, directly into their weapons here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Power to disable that potentially. Also, pin pin. Boop. Well, somebody's got to do it, pin pin. If I don't boops in the kits, then who will? What's up with those ears, lady? What are you doing right now?
Hey, Peace Taker, thanks for two years of support. Appreciate that, 24 months. Yeah, Penny's definitely still a bit feral. I'm hoping she calms down like a little, little hecky man did. Our uh, third option here would be to hack weapons. It might not be all bad. Man, this is tough. Yeah, I think we're just going to go engine hack and then hit shields first and then go into weapons. I don't know. No, we got to hit weapons first. If we don't, we're going to get ion down in like two seconds and then we're taking uninterrupted damage. Okay, that works. That works. They can stack us up here, but that's not going to hurt us too bad. Nice. Just keep that two damage missile launcher down. Thanks. Right there. I mean, we already have six crew, and I think I want the high scrap reward instead. Third rock wouldn't be bad. High scrap reward here in sector six, though, even better. Hey, Split Skull, thanks for 65 months and a 65 streak. Much appreciation. Yeah, it feels like we have a lot of scrap, but with what we have left to purchase on this ship, uh, and only one sector remaining, we do not have a lot of scrap. We're, in fact, behind on scrap. Okay, double shot there. Alright, shield overcharger, whatever. I'm gonna do this, let's see if we get through. Triple fire in the shield room. Mm. Fire in the med bay. Uh oh, spaghettios. Sixteen, eighteen, thirty. I'm gonna hold off here for a minute. You know, let's go like this. Enemy FTL charging, of course it is. Probably best we fired there anyways then. Nope. And yes, answer the uh, previous question. You can do exclaim mod or exclaim mods in the chat any time to see the full list of mods we're using. We're currently using uh, high res backgrounds version two and Rebel Fleet Pursuit with numbers on this save. Boom, 
intervene to defend the outpost. Anytime you see the words outpost on your event, that means there's a double reward just a waiting for you. This one's easy weapon slam, easy life to me. That'll do. So one of our weapons went down, but they will run out of uh, missiles. The burst laser two, heavy laser two, is the wombo combo for the enemy, uh, the enemy ships. The reason for that is uh, that weapon system times out very well for them. They fire the three regular lasers, followed by the two heavy lasers. Unlike the the human player, the enemy ship just fires their weapons when they're charged. So it's one of the weapon types that times out really well for them. Okay, that's fine. The artillery beam will finish off for us. Twenty-two and fifty. Look at that. Three hundred and twenty-three scrap. All right, civilian sector seven sounds awesome. Crazy, we got 323 scrap and about six jumps there at the end of that sector. Well, we do want to save at least 150 for cloaking at the store, that's for sure. But I think buying a couple upgrades here would be smart. How much is this right now? It brings us slightly below. I'm going to buy my... Uh, fifth engine here. This gives us a better use of our backup battery. Honestly, getting this weapon in here to protect our flak seems pretty good, too. The Ion Center, unfortunately, does very little versus, um... most ships that we hack. Though if we time it out perfectly, firing the Ion Center with the flak right behind, it does do an additional projectile of damage technically, because we strip one shield. That's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to buy this and this. We'll see if we can time this out correctly or not. Um, I think I'm going to go for the asteroid here. That's true. Value point and shield is always an option here. Not an option we're going to exercise. Okay. Well, that's a ship for you. This one could actually be very dangerous. Once we get our first hit on their uh, their weapons, however, not so much. Okay, this worked out pretty good. Chain laser is actually the big one to get down here. Um, reason for that is uh, the chain laser starts firing faster and faster. Causes a big problem for us. Hey, Rebite, glad you feel that way, man. Hope you continue to enjoy the FTO. Thanks for being here. It's been a very, uh, very cool run. Okay, we have hacking up now so we can finish them off. Fuel rewards in Sector 7 uh, massively devalued because at the end of Sector 7 we get uh, 10 fuel.
I want to hit the store right now or wait even more. You can get back here, no problem. I don't think we lose any jumps taking that route. Yeah, I don't think we want to go down to the store. It just leaves less jumps, less chance at a second store if we don't have cloaking here. Okay. That's fine. Yes, storage cash, gimme. Okay. This beam drone could still hurt us. Combat 2 can act very erratically. Uh, drones move from point to point on your ship firing, and sometimes they choose a point very close to where they just fired, and they do th they double fire at you. And when the combat drone does that two or three times in a row, it's actually capable of stripping your shields from you. Nice. I like that. Hey! Another store here. Before we take the store, definitely going to take this jump because it leads to a naturally occurring scrap line here. This should be the last store we see this run unless we get very lucky and get that Sector 8 store. Ugam88, thanks for seven wonderful months. Much appreciation for that continuation. Thank you. Alright, this ship's relatively tame. Still gonna send a hack out. Um, I'm just gonna go into weapons. It does make this 100% safe. Yeah, with this many missiles, we can just ram the flagship, huh? Just gonna wait here and go into shields, I guess. Or not. Split the difference. That is a really terrible offer. Yep, Ion Stunner coming in clutch, causing that stun disabling repairs. Nice, 40. There it is, baby. Oh, it's happening right now. Yes, I'm sure that's the last one.
Reloader is looking good, but powering the flak right now is looking better. Now we have an 11 projectile volley with hacking. I think we probably could have uh, got the reloader bot uh, at the store too, but hindsight's 2020 and 11 projectiles should be good. Nice. I could even jump here and then jump back for the reloader if we wanted to. I think we're just going to follow the scrap here and get four shields, though, and uh, move along. Let's see how this jump goes. We might jump back. We might. No, no way we sell Scanner here. Scanner continues to gain value all the way through uh, Sector 8 to the last jump. The only time I usually sell a Scanner inside of Sector 7 is if I'm replacing it for our third, like, third automated reloader or something like that. Scanners only sell for 15, and an average event um, in Sector 7, Sector 8 is going to be like 60 to 80 scrap, or maybe 50 to 50 to 70. So if we miss one jump as a result of not having the scanners, uh, we lose four times the amount of scrap that it takes to sell it. Very much depends on the run, um, your sister's mister. Sometimes we use the artillery beam very aggressively. This run, not so much, since we built a more standard weapon system. Your sister's mister, thanks for 16 months as well. Appreciate that. Automated Reeler does have one big advantage versus the flagship. It allows us to fire two volleys before they end up, uh... They end up cloaking a second time. Um, am I willing to forego a scrap, uh, a scrap gaining jump to do that? Maybe. Yeah. The extra 10% from an automated reloader is a pretty major deal. Specifically for the flagship fight. For most other fights, that 10% will be marginal at best. But when the flagship opens with cloaking, it allows you to fire two volleys, therefore disabling their cloaking a lot easier. Okay, um... I don't like that. Yeah. It's okay. When this fires, we can cloak it. Oh, dang, we got uh, disabled piloting. Darn. Would have preferred not to take that damage, but here we are. I think we would have avoided damage there by hitting the piloting first. Do 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 do.
I guess we might as well the exit now. Leaves more options. Explore the asteroid field. Nice. Okay, great. String of events into the exit. Beauty. O2 upgrade and FTL um, Bango Bees in hard mode usually happens before the flagship fight to negate the higher level um, higher level hacking or in slug designated nebulas as there's an O2 hacking event there. This ship can in fact not damage us at all. I'm just going to drop my engine here real quick and grab this last bubble of shield training. Nice. It won't take long at all. Yeah, abandoned sector can be a consideration for that too. Getting boarded by Lanius kind of sucks no matter what level your O2 is. Ooh, what a sneeze. Grabbing this last pip will get us from 20% faster recharge of this bar to 30% faster recharge of that bar. Nice. Hacking here seems ridiculously overkill. We had the parts for it. Let's just go for a slam jam, though. <laughs> Fair enough, I hear. I mean, the weapon system looks good on paper until you run into uh, a heavily defended ship. Hey, 2642. That's fine by me, thank you. We're there on four shields right now. I am not going to pay your toll. Come on now. Okay, that's a big old boy right there. Let's go ahead and hack engines. I'm going to hack engines right now because the defense drone is closer to the piloting system. So this will make our hacking toggle reasonably easier. It's a very a vertical shot, though. It might still hit. The reason that hacking toggle works in vanilla style FTL is the defense drone or anti-combat drone are uh, trying to target or intercept the uh, projectile with their shot. So by depowering it, you stop it and you stutter step their, um, their little bit there. It looks easy when you see somebody with a lot of experience doing it, but the timing is very tight and it's not a guarantee on any ship. Got some. Bitty five. I don't believe four shields is wrong. I can help you out because I got an NG for that. Nice. It's actually perfect. We have level three hacking and uh, our engines powered with that. Probably be buying us a few more engines though, because with our current weapon setup, we're going to be firing um, Do I dare double dive here? I might. You know, if I can get a sixth engine with this scrap reward, which how much is that going to cost us? 
60 right now, it's very likely. I'm gonna do it. Double dive. We'll never surrender one of our crew to schlavers up that one time. Okay, didn't hit my weapons there, that's good. No, I don't really want another Manus on board. Why, you ask? Because I'm going to get mind-controlled on Phase 3, and uh, the Manus getting mind-controlled is a major problem. They're very strong. Also, by turning down the Tribute, we're guaranteed a high Scrap Reward, and therefore our 6th engine. With 6 engines, level 3 hacking and cloaking, it should be a guaranteed safe double dive. Should be. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay, that might hit us. Gonna have to accept that. Gonna boost into this very first thing. Okay, it missed, but it came back online, those jerks. Okay, cloaking now. ASB missed. Nice. Okay, ASB's target lock. Gonna send him to the med bay right now, and then we're gonna jump into the next one. Ah, another one. Okay, I didn't power up fast enough here, so we're, um... We're not getting out before the first ASB. ASB stands for anti-ship battery, and it's something that exists on uh, jumps where you're behind the enemy fleet pursuit. Oh, crap. Okay. To the last day in Sector 8. Okay, we're really hoping we can make a repair station before the base because we're missing a little bit of hole. I don't think that will really matter that much, but we got a we got a beeline here. Do need some scrap here too. I'd like level two cloaking, level two O2, and maybe one more engine before the flagship fight. Uh, Luma Yoshi, your evasion chance will count towards a percent chance to dodge the ASB. So whatever your evasion is, it just counts like a normal projectile. So if the ASB hits, it is a guaranteed three damage and a hole breach. Knifey AU, thanks for 10 awesome months, man. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Thank you.
every jump we take here in sector eight will be one of the beacons in the map is overtaken do you see these jokey guys double vulcan come on now Honestly, if Double Vulcan gets up and rolling, that's uh, that's game ending. But there's no way. We got 11 projectiles, and we can do plenty of damage. Also, it'd take a short eternity for them to actually get that uh, online. Thirty-four. All right. Oh, Sector Eight store. You don't say. Sector Eight store is another way we can heal up. Also, if we get another reloader here, that's really good. I'm gonna go ahead and risk our repair station being overtaken, and we'll probably just repair at the store then. Another flak. Okay. I'd love to buy another flak here, it's just, um, overkill. Level 202 is much safer. Take a look here. Repair is not overtaken. I could just not repair and bank on getting that. Okay, I'm going to buy level 202 here, and then I'm also going to just... Repair. If I had about a hundred more scrap, that flak would be on the table. Yay, we made the repair station. Hey there, Switch Feet. Thanks for that big 21. Much appreciation to you. Okay, it's got to cloak that missile launcher and disable. Hundred and eight percent should do it. Okay, cool. He's going to the base now. So we're going to buy level 2 cloaking and a power bar. Yeah, piloting's actually a good upgrade here. Thanks for saying that. I think that's a smart choice for our scrap. Level 2 never, never hurts, and if we get hit by one of the uh, enemy flagship missiles, it's not 0% evasion. All right, everybody, before we head into the flagship fight, all three phases, it's going to take a very short break around the three-hour mark here. It's going to stand up, stretch my legs, grab some more water, use the restroom. Encourage you to do the same. Be back in just a very short moment to continue the fun. No ads or anything like that. So please do enjoy this sleepy kitty who might abandon us when I stand up. We'll be right back. I'll turn the lights off for you, Penny. Just stay chill, huh? Be a good little pin pin.
Alrighty, we have returned. Thank you so much for your patience during that short intermission. I do very much appreciate it. Let's hop right back into our run here. Sector 8 on the Federation A, about to head into the flagship fight. Should be good. Hey, during our short break there, Barbaric Flamingo, thanks for 21 months. Few away from two years in Rum Bottom. Thanks for that great A. One more, and we got ourselves a sub, baby. Glad you can make it back, Patros. So our current build is four shields, six engines, level three hacking, two flax, a burst laser, one burst laser, two. Uh, key component to this run, probably being a victory, is this one automated reloader um, allows us to fire our weapon volley twice before they cloak a second time. And we're off. That's right, you get it, hecky man. The flagship can wait. Yes, Penny was sitting there, Winston. Good job. Good snoof, son. I think you made a good choice on a place to sit down, Mr. Hecky Man. How's my Winston? Give get yourself a scroochin'. Who's my gentleman? Well, here we are. The worst thing that can happen right here is a weapon hack. So we're going to hope for O2 hack, sensor hack, or door hack would be the three best. Or artillery beam works too. Let's see. Okay, weapon hack is bad, but not insurmountable. The hack is going to end before their cloak does, or right as their cloak does. So we get to still get to fire one volley in here. I'm actually going to hold on this and do a partial damage to, uh, yeah, partial damage 
to their hacking. Start our hack here, go three, four. Gonna go one, two, three again, and then here. Okay, well, they only have level one hack now, so that's gonna be greatly diminished. Since they did hack weapons, though, they bridged the gap on their timing of, uh... Cloaking again, it's fine. Shields getting hits also fine. Well, for getting our weapon tag, that went great. Um, really, the reloader was the difference again there. Let's get Ghost Sun Prime healed up here. Can't ask for much more than that with a kitty on the bed to boot. All right, phase two should be the most simplified phase for us. It should be. So I have a, a great rule for anybody that's playing FTL, whether you're a new, intermediary, or very advanced FTL player, you want to wait for the flagship to jump to the base to fight it at phase two. The reason for this is that on phase three, you want to jump into the flagship, leaving yourself the base as a safe jump back. If you don't do that, phase three can go out of control really, really quick. Okay, that's fine. Warding drone and hacking is not really hurting anything. So what I'm going to do now is go 3-4 here and then we'll go into drones. I'm also, as soon as we fire that, going level 2 cloak here. In come the drones. Wow, this extremely weak uh, drone phase. It's wild. It's one of the weakest drone phases I've ever seen, actually. Triple kill! All right, 50 scrap here. Let's just go ahead and grab level two doors, I guess. Level two oxygen with all doors open on the ship will stabilize a breach. Okay, here we go. So now we're jumping into the flagship phase three. So we have the base as a safe jump back if things get out of control here, which they often do. This this phase has boarding and mind control. Okay, shield guys, mind control, that's fine. Oh, okay. Um You know, I'm probably going to jump back here.
Yeah, definitely. Wait for the mind control to run out like that. Shield's got plenty of juice left. Okay, he's not really going to make it back here, so... Let's go in here real quick. So I want them to board once more. There they are. And then we're going to jump back to the base. Perfect example of why... Leaving yourself that room to jump back is so important. Because now we've killed off five of their crew that were left. I think that's the remainder. We can repair our ship back and then do it again. This time without all the boarding. I think we could have defeated that without, but, you know, it's uh, a lot of stuff could have gone wrong still. Dude, the Razor, I'm pretty sure I got you earlier, but if not, thanks for that wonderful year. My apologies if I missed you. Damn humanitis. Yes, the uh, Zoltan shield does regenerate in between phases, but the crew does not. Not on this phase anyways. If you jump away with the enemy flagship crew phase one and you don't finish the phase, they all respawn. Not here though. You really only want to do the stealing technique on phase three for that reason. Hey, Dale Dose, thanks for 28 wonderful months. Boy, how that time flies. And now we wait. So they got one crew left to board with. That's fine. The man is being mind controlled is less than ideal, but... Okay. Just gonna chase him down. Okay, I'm a little early on my cloak there, so the next volley will get through, but I'm going to leave that be. So we can get an ideal volley here. Yeah. G G. Feels good, man. That was a, a pretty tense run in sector four, five, and early six before we kind of stabilized. Feels good. Yeah, Penny, but Winston's up there now, so you know, there's that. Move your meat, lose your seat, Penny.
Ties for Sagan. Thanks for 43 months. Thanks for that GG, dude. Appreciate almost four years of support and Alter Self. Thanks for making it official with Twitch Prime. Thank you. That definitely calls for some damper time. GG, what a good run. Feel free to throw out your score guesses for this vessel here. Uh, Lumiyoshi, what you saw pop up there was the achievements for defeating on... Uh, defeating the ship on easy and normal. You get both those achievements when defeating the ship on hard. Dude, I saw somebody guess 6126 right at the start. Sixty-one ninety-six, okay. Stats. So you can see right there, all of our victories are on hard mode. I will say, if you're a new or even intermediary player in FTL, there's absolutely no shame in playing on easy or normal. It's still a very difficult uh, prospect to get a win. It took me almost 40 hours to get my first victory on uh, easy mode FTL. We're now here with 2,800 hours streamed in the game. I still find it to be a very, uh, very tough challenge. But on every ship fight we complete on this save, since we unlocked all of the, um... Unlocked all the ships with the save editor, you will see an achievement pop up for the easy and... Normal mode victories. There's no achievement for hard mode victory. I don't know what you're doing, Penny, but okay. Oh, I've been saying, I think having a constructive learning environment while playing FTL has helped me improve the most. Being able to discuss things with a live chat room and pose questions is a very powerful tool for learning and improving. Nice. Well, there's definitely not time for another run this afternoon, but let's head into a run of Spelunky. There's no daily available until after 5 p.m. and we'll be probably done by then. Get our Spadunk go on. Yeah, I don't think we'll be doing another set of no pause runs that we've done. Uh, basically three full sets of no pause. I think that's enough for me.
Didn't look at the overall stats. I think that is six or seven of the type A's done on that save. Man, we had to be approaching our uh, probably 15th or 20th save overall in FTL now. Uh, Canary Bird, that is not a mod that's in the option settings of Base Slay the Spire. Uh, there are several options to display different types of damage numbers. You'll find it there in the settings. Only mod we're currently using for Slay the Spire is Colored Map. Whoa, this is an awkward layout. No problem, Canary. Good luck. Have fun. I guess we'll just kick it off with some murder here then. bomb here uh, not because well I do want the pups of course but what I really want to make sure is that we're not missing our chance at the key and chess definitely not the case here could have been though Izanagi21, thanks for 16 months. Do appreciate that. What's good? Whoa! That was scary. So now we've angered the shopkeeps at the end of every single level. There's going to be a very upsets and shopkeep waiting to kill us. Good. Nice. Spot of goods. Yes, it is possible to find the black mark without the eye, though I will tell you right now it is not likely. Many times the black mark entrance is stuck inside of a wall, and you'll have no way to recognize where it is without the eye. Oh crap, I'm dead. Man, he popped out of that store quick. Good for him. We'll say Katana Zero looks pretty neat, though the amount and content of the dialogue does not really line up with my streaming goals. Uh-oh. Don't smush him, Penny. He's just a small boy. I only play games I enjoy in the stream, Nanny Goat. Them's the rules. Okay. He's just a small boy. Have mercy. Penny, come on. 
<laughs> a little bit rude there, don't you think? Olfie 01, thanks for 22 months. Two away from two years. Well, it's happening right here live on stream. He was just a small boy. Now he's flat as a pancake. You're so rude, Penny. That's his face. Come on, Pin Pin. Just lay down. Be a good Pin Pin. Okay, or not. Do, do what you want. Alright, we'll see how that plays out after this level. Oh, Penny's a total bully. She doesn't like when other cats play or eat first or get anything, really. He's a monster. Boop. Bop. Penny's actually officially bigger than Winston now. Hey, three bombs for one bomb. That's my kind of trade. We know our key and chest can't be on the first level here, so we'll just grab that gold nugget and be on our way. Okay, Penny, but you know, you should just lay down and be nice. What we got selling down here? Okay, we see our chest. The chest is going to have a key component on this level as well. It's got to figure out where. Key at. There's that key at. Huh, that's tough. No, this should be fine. So that shouldn't aggro the shopkeep. Nice. 
Well, because of this greatly increased mobility here, so we can now uh, cling to walls and climb upward. Okay, there's a spider I'd like to fight. Uh, this isn't a bad spider fighting spot. I wouldn't call it good either, though. One more. Spike shoes make that three to four jumps rather than ten. that scorpion. Thanks, Arrow Trap. I have the pitcher's mitt right now. Easy enough to get bungled throwing something too hard or in a direction you're not expecting. Okay, so far so good. Come at me. Okay, we'll throw it from over here. Got it. These cats right now. Well, at least that's a little bit uh, nicer, Penny. Hey, Luma Yoshi, no worries at all, dude. I have certainly jumped to uh, plenty of conclusions that were incorrect myself in my lifetime. I do appreciate that, but really unnecessary. Thank you, dude. And happy to have you. We all got humanitis, man. Haven't met one person that's not a bozo on the bus, myself included. Okay, we can make it out with the statue, no problem. Well, not before the boulder gets summoned, though. Yoinks. Oh, hey! Well, you guys wanted to watch the cats anyways, right? I was reading chat there. No game required. I stole the statue, that's all you missed. Man, come on, Mr. Monkeyman. That's my ropes. Okay, so in the jungle, we want to check all the way left and right on all levels here to make sure we're not missing our black market entrance. We, uh, the key and chest we can bind inside of the, the mines will alert us to them about one screen away from the black market. That's our next step in progressing to potentially getting to the fifth and final world of Spelunky Hell. Okay. 
Okay, let's say really important here that the uh, frog does not bomb our shrine. Pupper is good news, bad news. Okay, that goblet we just got happens at 16 sacrifice points or the equivalent of two damsel sacrifices. That's going to let us absorb the blood of our enemies for HP. It's nice. I'm going to take this rock with me. I mean, what a perfect scene this is. Second time ever they've been on the bed together. We've been making some pretty major modifications to the cat bed set up during uh, the vacation after Fragmas to, uh, you know, facilitate more stuff like this. Also, Winston and Penny are literally best friends. They follow each other around all day in the house, bother each other all the time, but never hiss or be awfully mean. Just some happy kitsies. Olfi, thanks for 22 months. I missed you earlier. Much appreciation, my man. And Daydreams TV, thanks so much for making it official with Twitch Prime. You rock. All right, we're definitely in the market for a legal run here. I see our black market entrance in front of us. You can see the vine outline over here. So... Like very little monies on the bottom. There's a little bit. I'll use a rope here. in the statue for 10 G's. Bops this feller and grab ourselves a pepperoni pizza on the way out. Nice. Alright, so we're still going to throw a rope up immediately when we enter the black market. The legally purchasing everything here uh, could happen for us. The reason we want to throw a rope is uh, you can still have a boomerang men and other enemies cause a problem. Okay, so far so good on that. Boop, get out of here. Shopkeeps being eaten by the plant do not actually kill them. Or even hurt them for that matter. I need to make sure I don't run into that. The only thing I might delay uh, this for would be... Uh, I do have the glove. I kind of want a cape, though we're almost guaranteed a cape in the later game. I'm just going to buy bombs here. I think the cape's like 24,000, something like that right now. Let's buy these bombs, this compass... Maybe just another rope pack. Let's see what's on the bottom floor. No regrets on the compass. We might be able to get even uh, another set of 12 bombs. Okay, yeah. Oh, interesting. So if we use less than 12 bombs here to get this 12 bombs, then we're net gain, so seems good. Boom, bam, blammo. Murder bots going legal, would you believe it? The police don't either. He's just a law abiding murder bot, that's all. Yeah, 
Hey, Koija, thanks for that extremely generous 1,000 bits, man. You rock. Thanks for that big generosity. Hold on, we gotta have a, we gotta have a kitty pause break here. Got two cats in the bed right now. Too good. I can't even imagine how warm Winston is right now. Ooh. Man, that's a big ass frog in there, don't you think? Tiki villages are some of the most terrifying levels. They just have uh, a lot of tikis on them, a lot of sacrifices, a lot of other stuff. There's nothing that big frog can drop that actually helps us out here. Cheese and rice, dude. Nothing but the dead guy. Well, we made it to the worm. Or the ice caves where the worm is held. I don't know if I want to go worm on this run. We're better off just going for the victory. On a legal run, if we don't go worm, uh, Yama can be more complicated. Let's think about this for a sec. I don't think we're all that well equipped for it. Well, what the hey, it's our final run of the afternoon stream, anyways. Let's go for broke. So with our current setup, uh, we'll likely not be going back up after we come down here. Until we get to the center of the worm, we're in a very weakened state because we can't uh, destroy these spike orbs. It's just slightly out of our reach. Can't whip them or do anything like that. We need the Chris knife in the middle of this level to be able to hurt them. I don't know what that is. I don't like it. What? 12 bombs, though. Okay. I somehow didn't take damage there as well. Great. One, two. Fantastic. All right, now we have the Chris Knife. Now we can kill those spike globs. There is no ghost in the worm, no. You have, a. Uh, an indefinite amount of time to achieve your goal of collecting all the money or draining these.
I don't trust there not to be a spike pit down there. Because there is. Oh, okay. Worm's a very dangerous place. This actually provides a little bit funner route, because now we can go mothership and try to keep the plasma rifle, which we'd normally have to discard after the mothership. Nothing to be sad about, just regular Spelunky stuff. And say if you play Spelunky and your expectation is that every run you do is going to make it to hell, you're going to have a pretty uh, miserable go at it. Alright, let's juice the pups then. Okay, we're alive. Oh man, that was a fall. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The chain reactioning. Oh boy. Mm. Okay. I have more than one HP. Man. Okay. Euro, Zyko, thanks for 70 wonderful months. That is quite a few months indeed. Almost six years. Thank you so much for that continued support. Okay, I'm just going to bomb here. What? That was wild. Okay, this dude's selling a shotgun, which is so good right now. There's Pupperini doing his Pupperini best. Okay, I'm gonna drop pups off here and then we're gonna be getting along. Okay, is this like a really easy go at it? All right, we survived.
But blue lights can sometimes drop uh, sapphires. Sometimes. There's the Nubis right off the bat. Oh! Well, the plasma rifle is very dangerous, as we just saw there. But sometimes that's just how she goes. Look at this kitty cuddle puddle. The projectile on the uh, uh, plasma rifle does 10 damage, and the explosion also does 10 damage. I was mostly looking at firing when I wasn't going to hit the Tiki Spikes. We were about a half tile too close to the thing we were shooting at. Yeah, look at those Kitsos. Well, all right, everybody, that's going to conclude our part one broadcast here on this fine Wednesday show number 2068 here on Twitch, almost eight years full time. Thank you all for joining for day 14 of our third annual uh, Fragmas Summer. There'll be an additional stream around 8 p.m. Pacific tonight. We'll probably kick things off with the Spelunky Daily, especially as we didn't quite get our win there. I'll see you guys in a few short hours to do it up once more. Thanks for the great time and wonderful conversation during our FTL and Spelunky today. You absolutely rock, and please do enjoy enjoy these sleepy cuddly kitties on the way out. I'm actually going to delay standing up for a minute because I know when I do they're both going to bolt. Maybe get myself a boopsin? Boop! Have a great one, Lurker9989, David Pochley, great pepperoni, awesome name once again, Field Medic, OZ, Log Wartooth, Contra Mahato, my Drail, have a good one, Doom Flacco, Zoning Bro, my main Derpy Cat, Dark Lord Zormus, have a good one, Samuso, Samcio, excuse me, No Nonsense, Yum Yum Formally, have a good one, Tails. That chap from Canada, VG Smiley. Have a nice one, Glorious Bees, Cryptic Pyro, Silver Nightwing, can't think of a name. And so many others. Look forward to doing it again in a few hours. See you then.